What's up, everyone? Welcome to Epic Battle. Oh, that's a loud one. The place where we cut to the grab to get to the real deal in the gaming industry today uh, at four hourly rates. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> this is Daniel Kaiser. Wait, don't clear this with me. Wednesday edition of EBC alongside Tony Grice and Brent Adams, of course, my cohorts in crime every day of the week here on EBC. And today we're going to dive right into a recent uh, news story that's been lighting up the Internet, courtesy of a question that comes from Frank Simcoe at Frank S. Simcoe on Twitter, and it deals with PlayStation Now's recent beta, and the question goes a little something like this. At <laughs> Epic Battle Axe, PlayStation Now's rental prices are effing ridiculous. <laughs> Discuss. Uh, so <laughs> there's actually no Easy enough. question there, but we did want to bring this up, and we want to get the community's opinion um, and also share our own. So, for those who don't know, PlayStation Now, the game streaming service, is now an open in beta uh, they invite you to quote seize your moment um, if you can figure out exactly which moment you want to seize uh, because there's quite a convoluted uh, way of distributing games through their rental streaming program uh, ranging from let's see anywhere from seven days to 30 days to 90 days and even four hours if you're just you know kind of at a party and want to play a game um, and those prices are being dictated by the publisher and developer themselves as opposed to a strict standard so uh, a lot of confusion kind of out of the gate you know this is in beta um, TG let's is, start is with there you. even yeah, I was going to say, I don't even know if there's really confusion about how that works. Right. It's just kind of confusion. Like, the big thing is the pricing. Like, I mean, who, it's just who could plain possibly and think this was a good idea is more the Well, the I don't even know if necessarily, like, to me, the setup is fine. I mean, I think the idea of having a game for four hours, you know, if, hey, if I could buy a block of time for four hours yeah. at a reasonable oh, yeah. price, it's not the I think top, that's a it's, cool idea. It's not the top row. Of, like, like, the top row of numbers is four hours, seven days, 30 days, 90 days. The top row is fine. It's the numbers yeah, it's on the, the second row yeah. that are the problem. So, like, just to give you an example. Like, I'm looking at a title here, uh, Final Fantasy uh, 13 2. So, fairly, you know, a, a fairly recent title. And they've got the four hours, seven day, 30 day, 90 day. So, the four hours. So, to rent this game for four hours. And the way it works, too, is once you start it, it starts from that time. So, I mean, like, if you, Even the you know, come back to it. What's that? Once you start playing the game or the downloading Once it? you start playing you're the game, well, yeah, you don't really download you're it, you're streaming, you're streaming it, so yeah. yeah. But it, it starts from that point, point in time, and so like if you take a break for an hour, you've lost one you've of your lost four an hours. Hour. Whatever. It's yeah. not so four any, hours of gameplay, P it's breaks, four hours of chronological time. Yeah. Exactly. So, And just an idea, so for four hours of that particular game, it is $5. Now... You know, that, that's a dollar an hour. I mean, there there are a lot of downloadable titles you could buy for less than that, or you know, for five dollars you can get some some pretty good titles. Seven days is eight dollars. Uh -uh. Thirty days is fifteen dollars. Ninety days is thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like you know, th this title can be bought, I think, for like twenty nine to thirty nine dollars nowadays. So why would you even? You know, like physically, you can buy the disc version of it, or even buy the the digital copy of it. I think is like thirty nine. So I mean, you can have it and keep it forever for just a little over what you could have it for some extended period of time, like ninety days. Um, I think the the biggest thing the problem people have with this is just the pricing seems to be higher than I think what most people were hoping for. I yeah. think most people were hoping for, I want to get a little taste of the game. I want to play for a few hours. I'd be willing to pay a couple bucks, you know, a dollar or two, something like that. And in most cases, it's seeming that the, the prices are 200% higher that. than that. Yeah. And now I, I got to be honest, part of me is sort of like, you know, look, this they, they, Sony has kind of said that, you know, this is the beta and that, you know, the price, these, these pricing aren't, these, the pricing they're showing right now is not necessarily uh, indicative of what the final version of it's going to be. Although I, you know, and, and that they are trying different pricing because, you know, it's, it is in, you know, a lot of the games are Sony's games and I'm sure they are working with these other companies, even though they can't dictate to them what they charge. I'm sure they're working with them in sort of getting an idea of like, frankly, what are people willing to pay? Yeah. Um, and I think that's why we are seeing, because there are some other titles that are significantly more than this one. Like I've seen some where like the 90 day trial was the same price as just buying the game. Mm -hmm. So to me, the, the thing is right now, you can't put 
too, too much weight on exactly how much these games are going for, because I, I do think that they really are sort of testing the waters and frankly trying to see what you're willing to pay. And I think right now it's a good sign because people are not that excited about paying what they're showing. So I think that is a good sign and that I, I believe the prices will probably as a as an overall as a whole will tend to come down once the service launches. Uh, I think they are just trying to see basically like, you know, hey, are people willing to, to how, how many people are willing to pay this amount for it? Is it worth us putting it out at that price to maybe start off, you know, for the first few months of a game's release on the platform? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe later we drop the price down. You know, th- this is what they're trying to figure out is uh, how much it's worth to them. And, I, you know, I'm sure they probably are trying to kind of figure out how much this is costing them. You know, how yeah. much does all this, you know, bandwidth cost them? And is are the prices they charging worth it to them to offer these types of service. So I, I don't know. I'm not necessarily as down on it as I think a lot of people are, because frankly, I, I don't think that what we're seeing is an absolute for sure representation of what the final, you know, cause this is a beta. This is a, a test. It's an open beta and, you know, and it's a fucking paid beta, which is, you know, mm-hmm. kind of the other crazy thing about this. But, uh, but anyway, I'm not necessarily too down on it. If, if this stuff stays the exact same way it is now, once it launches, uh, what later this year, I guess is whenever they're, the the official sort of launch is supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. I then then it'll, I'll I'll be a, a little bit uh, more down on it, but mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. that's where I'm at. Brand, what do you think? Uh, I I really feel like I agree with Tony's last point there that uh, I'm not getting too upset about this right now because I I don't think that this is set in stone, and I know that some I know some some gaming outlets, some people are, are claiming like this is it, like you know this is what they're going for, and I, I I don't I don't think that that's the case. I think they've been pretty clear about the fact that that things are shifting during this this beta period, and and I don't know that this is where things are going to end up. And the thing is, even if uh, even this is where they end up when it initially launches. Doesn't necessarily mean that it stays there because they're going to react to uh, they're going to react the to, to to the market. And th- if the market is not biting at these price points, then uh, people are going to have to people are going to have to adjust downwards, and mm-hmm. uh, and they will. <clears throat> Different publishers will uh, will compete with within the PlayStation Now uh, market to uh, you know to try to make their games more mm-hmm. desirable uh, for, for people. I kind of think that. There's an interesting there's an interesting limitation that I think really changes the nature of a lot of this in the in terms of the time mm-hmm. the as as we were saying earlier if you buy a game or excuse me if you rent a game for 4 hours costs you 5 bucks <clears throat> but it's four chronological hours you, right. you rent it at you know like 11 a.m. you've got it until 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. um if if it was not four chronological hours, if it was four gameplay hours, if you got that game five bucks for four hours, you sit down, you play 20 minutes, the PlayStation knows you've played 20 minutes of that game, it logs your time, it's like, okay, you've got, uh, you've got another three hours and, and 40 minutes to play uh, any time within the next, you know, maybe there's a time period, like, you know, maybe it's... Maybe it's like a thirty-day window or something like that. Mm-hmm. You can you've rented that game for four hours and you have thirty days to use your four hours uh, in, in any increment that you choose. Um, I think that that automatically becomes a better a, a better value proposition mm-hmm. uh, when, when you can spread it over a, a, you spread that four hours over a weekend or something like that. You know, depending on on how much time you have. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel. Do you, do you think there's even a need for this ninety day? Like to me. 90 days sure I mean, I, I mean i mean there, there are games just fucking that, buy it well, yeah. well and that's what well, these prices yeah definitely i mean at these prices just buy well, it but um yeah i i think that i think that all of this uh all of these things you know can can be tweaked with not too much effort and, and like i said like a little yeah. bit of technological uh innovation on, on the one hand and right. it would it would make it, I think, I think a little bit more sustainable. But you know, Kotaku points out, like on Final Fantasy thirteen two, uh, it costs twenty nine or it costs thirty dollars to rent it for ninety days. You go over to Amazon, and that game is eighteen. Excuse me, it's seventeen dollars right now. Yeah, yeah. To buy it right. on, on PlayStation three. So you know, it's just they they are not even competing with themselves right. all that well. And so I guess I kind of feel I I have confidence. That very very few gamers are going to be 
are going to yeah. be investing their money in this. And if nobody's buying, then everybody's going to be sitting around the table scratching their head and saying, okay, well, what do we do? We have to make this better value, uh, either in the amount of money we're charging or in the amount of time that we're giving for <clears throat> the money we're asking, whatever it may be. Well, uh, But I don't think that in this in this state right now, PlayStation Now isn't going anywhere, yeah. uh, in my opinion. Well, here's where I stand on this. Um, I think this is amazing service that could, you know, really redefine platforms, redefine how we access games. Uh, it is in beta, so I'm willing to give them some grace, but it's completely convoluted. There's, there, there is no need, in my opinion, flatline, no need for 90 days. That's utterly ridiculous. There's also no need for four hours. I, I That's a, a demo... Every game is different. And because every game is different, okay, we're talking about like the rental model, all right, of, you know, when we think rentals, we think of Blockbuster back in the day, or we think of, you know. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't, I don't really think of Blockbuster anymore. Subscribing to a not service around. through Netflix, Netflix or whatever. But this is what I'm saying. They need to consider their games. Four hours in Madden is completely different than four hours in Metal Gear. I mean, that's like two cutscenes, uh, yeah. you know, when you're, when you're playing Metal Gear. So it can't be across the board. For me, they need to simplify this and focus on what they can do for the game that provides a service that makes it on demand when you want and the opportunity to upgrade whatever a there should be a subscription service that i it mean just, yeah it should just be like netflix it's like you know pay a right. flat rate and get access to the library exactly or, or at least a certain amount of rentals that are whatever so if i could pay 50 bucks a month or 25 bucks a month or whatever it is and get x amount of game time time with those games that would be awesome you got to think about the gamer right so if i'm streaming madden and it's not worth it but i know i've i've paid for 100 hours of gaming that month then that's totally different so that's something that they could do but in terms of where they're at right now this really should just be simple this should be a one day pass and a, a, like a week long pass and, that, a, and a permanent buy like i think they should give you the one day absolutely. seven day 30 day and permanent like like permanent streaming like you can stream it well, as long as the service is available i guess i guess guess the fear is that they're going to lose or cheat themselves out of sales if they let people buy something, uh, expose themselves to it, get that rush and get that exposure to it that they wanted to check it out and then they don't buy it. But you know, you can incentivize. I mean, for me, if I could rent a game for five bucks for 24 hours and know that I could stream it and play it, and then that five bucks goes towards a $45 permanent stream, like that's on my permanent, I could stream it anytime I want, or 50 bucks, whatever it is, uh, but the five bucks that I initially spent goes towards that, well, then they're upselling me, and that's great, and I love the game, and I want to have access to it all the time. Awesome. Meanwhile, if I want to like I know I want to play it for a week and I don't want to play it after it fine charge me 15 bucks or 20 bucks and you know at that point you've gotten more money out of me but I don't want to play the game that long uh, and I think I could beat it or whatever I think there's smarter ways to do this that are simple and and actually uh, you know provide incentive to the gamer to keep coming back for more because right now it's too convoluted and it doesn't fit uh, this industry I mean if you go out and rent something from Redbox, there is no movie that you're going to rent that you can't consume all of it in its entirety within the 24 hours that it's due back. There, that, That's just yeah. the way it is. And gaming is completely different. So four hours... Is it shouldn't even be an option. It's it, you know to me that's something that maybe they want to provide you as a paying subs. I think if you're a paid subscriber, maybe you just get a four based on the tier that you subscribe at. Maybe you get four hour trials built into that or something like that. Uh, but they're not. Well, that would be something that they could they offer to like PSN Plus subscribers. Exactly. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Like if you got PSN Plus, you get that four hour rental period. Free. Right. Right. Exactly. Everybody else gets maybe like one hour for free. Or exactly. Something. I understand working out the kinks, but to me, uh, you know, this is. It just doesn't feel like there's a lot. Of, there's no creative. It doesn't feel like there's any creativity or thinking. Well, of what it doesn't makes even it sound like they really model. know what they want to do. Like I right. really feel like they were so like they bought the technology. Yeah. You know, because this is obviously Gaikai technology, right. and they're like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. We can offer these games, and they're like, oh crap. Uh, how are we going to do so it? Oh, it doesn't really matter. This. Throw throw up some prices and some times, and we'll yeah. go. like it. Just it doesn't really think that, that. Like this is kind of so universally been panned that I cannot believe that they aren't going to see at least a fairly major retuning of it before we see it. Yeah, right. For for real, I just I can't. Well, I don't think the end result is going to look anything like, like this, this, but just tweaked. I think it's going to probably be fairly significantly different. I, I agree. 
provided that the Sony of 2014 is the Sony of 2013. Correct. Yeah. You know, last they year, to their PlayStation 4 reveal, they were all about listening to their audience. They were all about delivering, uh, de- delivering the most value that they could. They were really hungry to get back in the top spot. Okay, now they're back in the top spot right now. Where are they going to be now? Uh, you know, Microsoft is is a fierce competitor right now. Microsoft is really, really, uh, they're they're burning fuel trying to catch up to Sony, and it'll be interesting to see if Sony is as dogged in pleasing their customers with this as they were last year pleasing their customers with the launch of the PS4. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let us know what you think in the comments of today's skirmish of EBC. We hope that was a frank enough answer for you, Simcoe. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And uh, and again, like I said, we're really interested in hearing your thoughts on it. So leave us a comment, send us a tweet, do whatever, wherever we want to hear from you on this. And if you have another question that you'd like for us to answer on the show, always feel free to hit us up on Twitter at Epic Battle Axe. And we're looking for great questions to discuss throughout the week uh, on EBC and on Until tomorrow, I'm Daniel Kaiser for Brent Adams and Tony Grice. We will see you next time on EBC. Remember to cry havoc and let your voice be heard, just not that much in public. Have a good one. Peace. Happy hump day. And and hump day is actually, right now, you could access it for only (laughs) $4.99. From what I understand. But only for four hours. You can't can't access the entire day. No, just, just some of it. Have you, have yeah, you, have you looked at the URL hump day, Daniel? Just oh, I'm sure, I'm sure it's available. I mean, I'm sure it's not available. Right, right. Yes. <laughs>